WeWork's new All Access Pass has revolutionized the way I run my business and live my everyday life. It was pivotal in me being able to travel internationally while still running my business. So today I'll be breaking down WeWork, their All Access Pass, and how you can leverage it to grow your new business. So stay tuned. So first off, what is WeWork? If you're new to WeWork, WeWork is just a provider of co-working spaces. This is a new trend that got even more popular, especially around the pandemic time. And during the pandemic, WeWork decided to also release something called their WeWork All Access Pass. Pretty much this pass allows you to access WeWork's global network of over 800 office locations. Now, previously you were restricted to just accessing hot desk, which means desks in an open area and meeting rooms, but now they are even giving you access to private offices worldwide. Now for me, it started off as just being able to separate business from personal. You know, I wanted a way for me to be able to work away from my home from time to time just to get a change of environment and being able to just kind of re-stimulate myself and be able to stay focused. So I was initially using WeWork in my local area where I was located in my hometown. But where I really saw how useful it was was whenever I started using it while I was traveling. So as I was traveling around the world, I'd use WeWork to ensure that I was able to have a reliable internet connection and actually have a solid place to work. The reason being is when I was typically traveling, I'd stay in locations for a month at a time. And one of my biggest fears was traveling to a location, getting there and realizing that I wouldn't be able to work efficiently for at least a month's time. So it was great to have WeWork and being able to have WeWork locations. So if anything arose, like for example, I had a bad internet connection at my house or, you know, I needed to print something off or needed to, you know, whatever the case may be, needed a location to shoot videos, then I always knew that I could go to a WeWork location and be able to get those tasks done. Now, when it comes to actually signing up for the WeWork All Access Pass, they made the process extremely simple. So all I did was once I actually uh, signed up online and was able to uh, you know, pay and check out and everything, all I had to do was show up to one of their locations and actually get access to my WeWork access card. So this is what the WeWork access card looks like. I'm not sure if you can see that from here. Let me see, try to open it up. It's pretty much black. It has a little bit of a, um, a little bit of some wording that's also in black that you can barely see even in regular lighting. So the card pretty much has just WeWork across the front of it and says, do what you love on the back end, which seems like to be one of their slogans as, as I've seen it even in some of their WeWork locations. Now, uh, once you have this card, you're pretty much set to go. What you can do is just choose a location on the app, you book a spot, and then you really just pull up. It's really that easy. And so it, what was really great was that this card literally worked internationally. So I could go to a WeWork location in, for example, Colombia, and I didn't need to go and talk to anybody or anything like that. You know, I could show up to the WeWork location early in the morning, and all I would have to do was tap this card into the access points where, uh, however the access points were in specific buildings and be able to enter with no issues. Now, when it comes to actually using the card in different locations, they do recommend that you actually book a uh, location before you show up just so it gives time for the system to register your card information so you're able to actually get in with any without any problems but from what i found i really had no issues there was times when i'd actually be walking to the location or i might have even forgotten to actually book a location and once i got there i quickly booked and within a minute or two i was able to get in with no problems using my access card now when it comes to the actual pricing of this all access pass it came out to 300 dollars a month and looking at it roughly about $10 a day. But towards the end of this video, I'll actually be telling you about how you can get access to one month free. So stay tuned for that. Now for full transparency, I actually did cancel my subscription towards the end of last year, early this year, uh, I didn't have WeWork. Now, the reason why I did that was because I was starting to travel to smaller cities, which tend to not have WeWork locations there. But I'll be renewing my membership in the next week or so, as I'll be traveling to larger cities that have WeWork locations, mostly in South America. Now, when it comes to cities that I was traveling to that actually didn't have WeWork locations, uh, these were cities like, for example, Granada, which is in the south of Spain, right below the Sierra Nevada. Now, I had a good time at the city, everything was great, but I actually had internet issues at my Airbnb that I was staying at. Now, the issue that uh, came in with that is that I was actually at the Airbnb for an entire month, so I wasn't able, I didn't have much flexibility when it came to changing the Airbnb. And so, 
I love the location, the Airbnb was great, but the issue was that the internet was really slow, so it kind of hurt me when it came to uploading videos. I had been to Airbnb and other locations, and that was actually the benefit. You know, when if I had slow internet at my Airbnb, all I had to do was just go to an actual WeWork location and the internet connection would be great. I'd be able to upload, download, whatever I needed to do. But with this one experience, I didn't let that hold me back. I figured, hey, maybe it just, you know, it, it was just one experience that I had and I, I could be able to kind of just roll with the punches and just move forward with it not, uh, you know, kind of just let it roll off my back. And so the next location I actually went to, the last trip that I've taken was in Lome, Togo earlier this year. Lome, Togo is actually a coastal city in West Africa. And in Lome, that's kind of where I had huge issues. Now, apart from having issues in terms of my luggage being lost on the way to uh, Lome, I was left with just my phone, which is not an issue. I've been able to shoot videos on my phone before and not have any problems, but the issues really came in with my upload times. I wasn't able to upload any videos that I had on my phone, get it into the cloud. I wasn't able to uh, upload any of my actual YouTube videos that I was shooting, not just my videos that I was shooting while I was moving around and photos and things like that. Uh, it took extremely long periods of time just to get that stuff uploaded. You know, I would a video that typically would take me an hour to get uploaded was taking me three, four days at a time. So that's one of the reasons I've decided I'm gonna start traveling a lot more to cities that have WeWork locations, just to make sure that I'm able to still uh, keep up my productivity and not take a huge hit like I did in these other cities. Now, since I've left, one thing that's really dope is they've actually started incorporating, allowing you to access private offices as well. Not just the hot desk as it was previously. Now, when I was there, all I was able to do was just use hot desk, which are kind of, you know, you get pretty much a spot in the open area. And if I wanted to, I had credits to be able to use the conference rooms, but I kind of wanted something that was in between. You know, sometimes there's periods where I wanted to really have intense focus and be able to use, uh, you know, a, a, a big enough space and office space, but that just wasn't available at the time. But now they've actually decided to roll out that feature where you'll get credits that you're able to use in private offices, depending on the location. Now, what are the actual benefits of the all access pass from WeWork? Now, the huge benefit for me is I can now be able to work from anywhere. Having the all access pass option means that I'm able to reserve a desk or a conference room or a private office in pretty much any location in the world. Another benefit is you'll typically be able to have 24 seven access, including nights and weekends on most locations. Now, I was actually surprised with this and thought it might be something just that I, I could expect in the States. You know, typically whenever you're going abroad, you'll see that places aren't open as long as they are here in the states you'll see some cities you know especially in europe you might see that you know stores close at 6 p.m right or stores aren't open on sundays or mondays things like that so i was a little hesitant about that but what i found that is we work was pretty much keeping the 24 7 hours uh in different cities that i visited now keep in mind you're not going to see that everywhere but it was reassuring to know that if i wanted to start my day a little earlier i could show up to we work at 5 a.m for example or if i wanted to work later i could work till 10 p.m uh, 11 p.m whatever the case may be and not have any issues another good benefit is the printing and conference room credits and also the private office credits depending on where you're located now I'm able to have credits to use to book conference rooms and to be able to print out documents. So this was clutch, you know, if, especially when I'm traveling, it's not easy for me to print out documents. It's usually a headache and I usually try to avoid it because typically what I have to do is I have to find like a small mom and pop shop that does printing. Now I got to email them documents, especially if they're sensitive documents. I don't know what's going to happen once, you know, once I have them printed off, if they're going to delete it or what, what have you. So I typically had tried to avoid it. But the great thing with WeWork is that you can now print those documents. Um, it's really simple. You're able to print it. Pretty much you upload the documents from your laptop and then you just walk over to a printer, tap your card and boom, you tap your card and it will allow you to start printing off whatever documents that you want to print off from your account. Another benefit was the interior design. Now I'm not one of those dudes that cares much for the look of certain places. I'm more, I kind of focus more on the utility but I have to say that I did find that they did an excellent job. You know, every WeWork that I visited had been designed in a really aesthetically pleasing way. You know, the decor and the furniture was always on point. You know, you really feel extremely comfortable in the actual work environment that they have set up. 
And I guess in the time I didn't really realize it until I was in an actual WeWork location, especially when I was traveling, that it really is a game changer. You feel a lot more comfortable. You're able to be more productive. Uh, for me, it was a no brainer continuing to use the uh, WeWork locations, especially when I was actually in those cities. On top of that, there was also dope rooftop areas to hang out or shoot content at, which I actually got a chance to do in both uh, Mexico as well as uh, Colombia. Now, the great thing is, you know, these are, are, are also hangout spots. People come out and chill and stuff, um, you know, while they're trying to take breaks or what have you. You know, I took the time to be able to shoot content. I made a, a couple videos out when, I, especially when I was in Colombia, in Mexico, I believe in Mexico, I did it more so on a, a little balcony that they had uh, set up, which was also nice, had a good, a pretty good view as well. But for me, it made it so much better to know that, you know, this was a, a nice little hangout spot and you're just meeting dope people around you at the same time. It was also just one of those really inspiring moments where you kind of sit back and appreciate, you know, where you are and you start feeling extremely motivated to just keep pushing and all that you're doing. Now, also when it comes to things to drink, now I typically am mostly just drinking water, but they did have access to free drinks on tap, including alcoholic ones. So they had everything from sparkling water to cold brew to even beers on tap. And that's just some of the drinks that I understand. If you're more of a coffee drinker, then you will really enjoy what types of variety that they actually had out there. Also from time to time, they would be holding free events where you could have free snacks, free finger foods, even free drinks from time to time. Now, the community managers try to, you know, frequently have these different events going on just to allow people to be able to socialize and things like that. So it's, it's up to you if you wanna go and socialize or you can just grab some food and just uh, head back to work. Now, one of the underrated features that I did find of WeWork was their networking possibilities. Now, I got the opportunity to be able to travel and visit WeWork locations in different parts of the world, and it was always fascinating the types of people that you found working there and what their projects were about. You know, I met a lot of people who had maybe marketing agencies or some people who were had were in cool professions, things that they enjoyed, but maybe their company had just given them a location that way they had option to choose whether to work from home or be able to work in the office. Either way, you are able to talk with some folks that have a ton of experience in different niches and different verticals and people that could potentially help you in the long run. Even for me, having the opportunity to speak with people who were in ad agencies, for example, it was interesting to hear their perspective on different marketing tactics as that's something that I was doing heavily, especially in my last few years. Now, when it comes to the negatives, you know, I do think that they can be a bit stingy when it comes to the conference credits. Uh, you are only allowed to use the conference rooms for, let's say, Five, you have five credits a month, for example. Now those credits, uh, they break down to certain amounts of time. So for example, half a credit might be 30 minutes of time. Now, uh, depending on how many credits that you get, once you run out of those credits, the cool thing is that at least you can purchase more. But I would like to see them offer a lot more credits as opposed to you only starting out with a small base of credits from the beginning. Another issue that people have had is I've heard of some of the more popular locations filling up a lot quicker. Uh, so you, typically I recommend that you try to book ahead in those types of locations. But as for me, the places I was going and visiting, I never really had any issues. Uh, I, when I was in Medellin, Colombia, I pretty much booked it on my way to the office or even sometimes when I was at the front door. When it came to uh, all the locations I tried in Mexico, it was the same thing in uh, Guadalajara. I didn't have any issues. I was able to book them pretty much uh, either at the front door or as I was walking in. So I didn't see any issues when it came to actually, you know, not getting enough spots. But the good thing is on the app, you're actually able to see how many spots are available. So if you see that there's not a spot available that day, you know to book ahead for the, any future times that you might go to that location again. Now for me, I think probably the biggest issue was the fact that you're locked into whatever location you book for the day. Now, once you book a location, uh, they give you, I believe about 30 minutes to cancel that booking. But if you don't cancel the booking, that's the only location that you can access for the entire day. Now for me, it kind of sucked because, you know, there might've been times where maybe I wanted to book a, sp a specific location and maybe I was going to lunch on the other side of town and there was a WeWork location closer on that side of town, you know, or maybe I had a meeting somewhere and I wanted to, you know, study at a different WeWork location afterwards. I wouldn't be able to do that. I had to use only one location each individual day. 
Now, as you can see, most of this negative press was due to the founder who had done some things that weren't really above board, we can say. And overall, I think it had to do with mismanagement of investor funds. But I will say I do think that it kind of overshadowed WeWork from the viewpoint of an actual user and automatically made people jaded to just WeWork in general. Personally, I don't think all the negative press from WeWork is worth completely avoiding the company. WeWork has been a great benefit for my business and I look forward to using them in the future. So be sure you subscribe as I'll more than likely be doing even more WeWork office tours as I travel around different cities in the world and visit their locations. So if that's something that interests you, even let me know down in the comments that you wanna see more WeWork uh, tours. That way I can show you guys what the different facilities are actually looking like. Now, if you're looking to start your own business or you're not sure if you have all the business essentials that you need for your LLC, check out a video that I shot on how to actually set up an LLC and get all the essentials that you need to run your business. I'll break down each step by step, then give you my top partners to make sure you get it done right. So be sure you check out that video right here. Aside from that, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and I'll see you at the next one. Peace.